This must be one of the most awaited soccer zones of the year. Simply because it's the weekend of the derby and this is the soccer zone of the weekend before. And we're going to give you a lot of that. Yes, that's my name, Andy Lengube. And hey, I've got a story to tell you. So when I was a lot younger, I'd get into every fight when my brother, who's younger than me, would come crying. Bang shy, bang shy. So the one day, I got there in time to watch Usabelo fight. And I stood aside and said, no, let me watch. In my mind, my talang at is at two months again. I see a papa, papa, papa. No, by shyly, when I am fair. I by shyly to boom no mazang either that night. By shyly fair. But I didn't intervene, doctor. Mm. I didn't intervene. Simply because I thought that Sabelo fought somebody very his age, his size. He put up a good fight and lost to a good fighter. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I was a lot younger. And I didn't know better than to stop them and speak to them. You know, in the nature of who we were when we were young, I let them take it out. Yeah. Let the boys be boys. But I was proud of having watched my little brother lose no because he put up a good fight. Mm. Now I wonder, if you're a Chiefs fan, are you proud they put up a good fight even though they lost? <laughs> Andile will get to uh, the squad announcement that uh, coach Hugo Bruce has made uh, a few hours ago but mm. just to confirm as I said earlier that coach Hugo Bruce confirmed he was asked because even on your show we were talking about it last week that uh, when he was done with the AFCON, he went home for a break and he gave an interview in a podcast where there was speculation regarding his future. Coach Hugo Bruce says, I love South Africa. I love everything in it. We may not agree on everything. It might not be perfect, but I'm taking this Bafana team to the 2020-25 AFCON as well as the 2026 World Cup. So that speculation ended. Oh, right. I'm happy to hear that. Well, I'm very happy to hear that. I think this is the best coach we've had in years. So good news. Absolutely. And let's have a look at uh, the 10 in and the 10 out that uh, the coach has selected. Because remember, we came off the back of the AFCON where they won bronze medal and he made a couple of changes. Obviously, some are uh, injured there. You can have a look at the list with the likes of uh, Bruce Vuma, goalkeeper at Kaiser Chiefs, Tapelo Koki and the like. Siabong Gangezana, interesting doc. He's uh, mm. one of the ones who, who comes in there. Just your thoughts on the 10 in and the 10 out. I think uh, the surprising one is Veli Motwa. You know, uh, being dropped, or is it based on him being on the bench? He's not playing at Amazon. He's, 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 he's on the Amazon bench, and yeah. uh, Bavuma is playing, even though if, even though Chiefs is, lo is losing, but he has done very, very, 16 sheets. Well deserved. In well seven deserved. Answers, yeah? yeah, well done, coach. Eight now. Well done, coach. Well, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. also there, uh, I'd love to hear from you, Patrick Masangani. I mean, look yeah. at the game is that, but look at the impact is that at Orlando Pirates. Can you saw Mayo? We've been speaking about how can you so come on. He comes on, and uh, the other one that sticks out there has to be nobody saw it coming. Mlondi Mbanjo. Mlondi Mbanjo, and I'm happy that uh, when you see new names there, it, it qualifies us uh, to see new faces, just like Abu Jaden Adams when they made that team. Mm. And it's good to see that it's also inform young players that are able to compete in there. I'm really happy that Kanye Samaswanganye are there. Grant Magaman has also been consistent with Super Sport United. Uh, Goodman Musele, he's actually been steering the ship at Chipa United because uh, they've been stable as well in how they've playing. Kwanele Kopo has been trying to instill a certain type of way that they can play their football there. So I'm not really surprised. Is he resting also is he resting in club because we haven't seen him at club yeah. as well. You know, so maybe also Ukoch says he's not playing at club and that also compromises his quality and how he plays for Bafana Bafana. Well, moving on, Andy Le, we were talking about a Kaiser Chiefs goalkeeper who's now in, back in the national team. But there's another goalkeeper who was sitting on the bench who's made headlines, hmm. was trending on uh, social media over the weekend for a confrontation with uh, coach Kevin uh, Johnson. That's Brendan Peterson. Uh, but we asked the coach after the game as uh, the media and the press conference about what exactly was going on between him and uh, Brendan Peterson at the end of the Soweto derby there. Here's an upsound of uh, the coach explaining that altercation or communication oh it was just a, a normal chat to the coach coach we lost the game what do we have to fight 
Did you see Kevin De Bruyne tell Pep Guardiola to shut up? <laughs> it's normal. I want my players to react when we lose. I want them to react. And if they react to me, then I take all that on my shoulder. Because tomorrow I will fix up whatever the reaction is. And that is football. I don't want them to be mouses. They have to be people who come and question me. I have to question them because in front of 100,000 people, no one can hear each other. It's only those 11 players on the pitch that have to work. Well, I don't want my players to be mouses. I'd like to get the thoughts of uh, Kaiser Chiefs legend himself. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a player and a coach at Kaiser Chiefs. What did you think of that moment when you saw it? It's in the passion, mind you. Let's, yeah. let's put it into context. They've just lost. He was on the sidelines at some point, coaching a little bit as well was Brandon Peterson. What did you make of that moment? Andy, let me be honest and precise. I've seen such uh, happening. Uh, the latest in Sulaim, I was probably 13 years old. Uh, he threw a jersey, Ebusu Nibaga, Eddie Lewis. Hmm. And myself in the dressing room with Jeff Butler. In the dressing room, by the way. So Emphasis. I understand. Inside the dressing room, I didn't want to do it in front of the supporters because the interpretation in the brand a bad image. So that's normal. It happens in football. It's, 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 it's just it, way it happened is different. The way it happened is different. And also, the way it happened, it's unlike the norm at Kaiser Chiefs. Because if the coach feels good, players can question, but mm. can we do that in isolation in order for us to interact? But that was not interacting. The gesture, it's anger. Mm. Because there was throwing of hands, people are watching. And now the team is not doing well. There's speculations that were there prior to us about division within the team. Now this, now it starts to escalate a lot of yeah. perception. But who, I, 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 I'm not saying it's exactly what is happening. But from where I'm seated, this it's only when it was on social media. Yeah. Then that's why I was like, what is going on here? Then people explained to me. I think uh, I must be in agreement with doctor. It just looks bad because of where it happened. And when you see it on camera in slow motion, yeah. but it's, it's player emotions after having lost a game. And like Kevin says, I want a player that loses and feels like that rather than one that's smiling and high-fiving. Anyway, Mazot, take it away. Let's move on, Andile. The last three stories we've got, uh, just a reminder to our viewers, they might have missed this one. Steve Hompela was actually on the dugout when Golden Arrows beat Pulukwane City just yesterday. He has been appointed uh, the coach uh, out at Golden Arrows and with Mabuti Kanyeza and Musa Bilankulu staying in tandem as his assistant coaches. And uh, the next one, uh, it happened while we were at Skizo's memorial here at the SABC and himself, uh, SAFA President Denny Jordan, was in the building, Marako Nazareki. They were busy, the Hawks, investigating and chasing a lead of five years, uh, claiming uh, fraudulent activities over 1.3 million. Safa later releasing a statement saying it was malicious and they did not have uh, a search warrant for what transpired out at Nazarek on Friday afternoon. And then we wrap it up uh, by going to uh, Cairo. Uh, tomorrow for the draw of the CAF Champions League. We now know that Mamelodi Sundowns are the only South African team uh, that is uh, remaining. We see who they will face uh, from the seven teams that remain. Remember, they will not play Tipi Mazembe because the two teams that were in the same group cannot face each yeah. other in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Agvuma no susuni wuti batole ama puzo ama tatu e Morocco swallows ite ka leyo na ngoba yi draw. The host took the lead in this encounter in the 73rd minute as Rian Hanumov twisted and turned inside the box and scored in the far corner. But Musa Nyatama's beautiful birds had the last laugh as former Alanda Pirates midfielder Augustine Mashonoko brought a super sub moment, scoring with a superb effort deep in injury time.
Stellenbosch FC emerged victorious in their first of two Western Cape derbies. Guvigi El Lotwa, Gengati in Moba Yakoli El Lotwa, Ekandeni is Alane Cape Town City. Estelis is an Ekoli, Shagulom Jalu of Kaya, Antonio van Vague, Eshangani Sama Passes Anzi, Mawal Begalaga, Shagu Devon Titus, Laduma Pagati, Yazalwa, a transitional football. KZ Chiefs have finally registered their first goal and win in 2024. Gengati Golden Arrows. That's now 11 losses in a row for Arrows. In a game characterized by questionable officiating, Cape Town Spurs got themselves a valuable point as they played out to a hard-fought one-all draw against Orlando Pirates. Amapakania avulenge lise ikoli liga relebo khile mufukeng. Elgule matote ni walbega emnateni walshala utale debata. But later in the second half, Gabriel Michael ensured that the Urban Warriors do not go back to the cup start empty-handed as he equalized with a stunning strike. That's a four points off the Buccaneers for Spurs this season. Well, these Pirates side have only lost two in their last 13 matches. Those were back-to-back -back at the end of last year, Supersport and Stelis, two rivals. And the flag stays down. Here's a real chance for Chiefs to get a goal and they've got it early on. And it's Ashley Dupreer, the man from Stellenbosch, just six minutes in. Well, that was terrible defending from the Buccaneers. But they're going to have to do something in terms of coming back into this game. It's Yusuf Mart underweights the pass and gives it away. And Maswangani plays it back into the area. Now Saleh! Oh, it's a brilliant goal! It's a brilliant goal for the Buccaneers and Monopoli Saleh! Dansani with space to move. Nice pass. Pulemori has got a man free in the box. That's a lovely pass. Is this number two? Yes, it is! And Kaiser Chiefs have regained the lead. It's a brilliant move. And Ashley Dupreer scores a brace today. He's got more goals in one half of football than he's got the rest of the season put together. Here is the youngster. Sets it up for Hotto, pulling the ball back into an area where nobody is around. Now the shot from Red. Oh, my word! What a goal that is! What a goal that is! And he doesn't get many. Tabiso Nebizo side from Chipper United recently. What's <laughs> that? Bottom of the log, Cape Town Spurs continued with a good run of form and picked up a valuable point as they played to a one or draw against Stellenbosch FC. It goal is the Urban Warriors, is a no Mzali, or more Shebu midfield, or Anele Velebai. But Stelly's got the equalizer just eight minutes after the hour mark. Ikram Reina scoring his seventh goal of the season from the penalty spot, following a handball from Damon Farmer. One all, it finished. DSTV Premiership Kings and Lug leaders Mamelodi Sundowns have stretched their lead at the top of the table to 12 points. Gengati Ngobanga Makoli Amabili Ekandeni Ezalade Chipa United. Kutatinje Imzuzu Enga Pantikwe Ishumi Obutama Brazilians as Bege Pambili Gulo Mzalo. Omzali Webafana Webafana Wadume Ekumuli Tenzima Enga Pantle Webogisi La La. The second goal, five minutes from full time, was your typical Sundowns goal in their new mission of completing a thousand passes. Newly signed attacker Tashrik Matthews netted his first goal for the Brazilians, Mugwena in with the assist. Cape Town City's hopes of a CAF Champions League spot received another blow yesterday as they lost a second game this past week, going down 2-0 against Royal AM. The second goal was definitely a contender for the goal of the month. Sabelo Tolle with a solo effort, a shema dote lele pante before firing past to Darren Keat, 2-0. That's back-to-back -back losses now for the citizens. Steve Compella's second coming at Golden Arrows was confirmed by Nduduzo Spears 85th minute strike, ending a poor run of 11 losses in a row for Abafana West Ma uh, exciting derby, five mm. goals.
but there's something missing. We'll start with the first one. The first one was the breaking of the law. Uh, breaking oh. of the leg or breaking of the law. Uh, here is Yusuf Ma doing what you call serious foul play. A player who endangers the safety of an opponent by using excessive force or brutality. I think so, I'm Limas. He got oh. a yellow card from Jelly Chaban. I don't know. Yellow when, card? When oh. Jelly sees this, he must know that this is red. Straight oh. red. I'm red. I'm red. I'm red. He nearly so ended it. Uh, ready, uh, ready, and then ready slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next one. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the next one. We're staying with yeah. this game. Next one, we're, staying, we're still staying in the derby. There's a penalty appeal. But let's see if um, Simango there played the ball or the man. There's what we call jumps at an opponent. Mm. Uh, let's see if he jumps for the ball or for an opponent. Look, he jumps for an opponent. So when a player jumps at an opponent, it's a penalty offense, so penalty should have been awarded for jumping at an opponent. Because mm. mm. there was no intention to play the ball. So he played the man, and here we play the ball. It's not rugby. Rugby, you can do that. But football, we play the ball. So, so Pirates should have been awarded a penalty there. That's a clear penalty. So Chiefs should have had a red card. Yes. And that should have been a penalty. A penalty. Here's another one, a penalty yes. appeal. Yeah, the next one as well, uh, we'll see the same Mabasa. Right, Mabasa put the ball on space. So now when you put the ball on space, the referee clocks proximity. Now comes Castillo. Uh, when Castillo made that challenge, did he prevent, when he makes that challenge, did he prevent the player from going to an advantageous position? The answer is yes. So another penalty should have been awarded for preventing a, 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 an opponent from getting into an advantageous position. Ah, but referee by Bulali came. No, 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 that was horrible to do refereeing then. Uh, uh, Surely for the first time, you've got to agree that that was... That's three big decisions, two penalties and a red card. So, you know, those are big decisions. Very, very big decisions. Kanang is born in And really, Angas Guti. Was Afuna Lea replay talk? No, it's Afuna. No, 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 no. Let's go on to the next one, rather. <laughs> We're staying with the same game. Yeah. Um, Kelsey Chiefs are the Pirates. This is the most spoken about moment, this goal. Yeah. Uh, Pirates scored with 12 uh, players on the field of play. Yes, no, 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 on the field of play. Before the ball crosses Before the line. Before the ball crosses the line. What does the law say? This law was amended uh, beginning of this season when Yusef Mart scored a goal. Remember, Yusef Mart scored a goal from a long distance. Uh, uh, Riff Rosler was already on the field celebrating. FIFA came with this law that if a goal is scored with an extra person on the field of play, now clarification means that the, 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 the person must interfere with play. If that player does not interfere with play or have an impact on play, a goal will be awarded. So that's why the goal was awarded because Yusef Mart made a change in the law. Hmm. That clip was seen by FIFA. They said, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Before it creates problem, let's put it as a law. And it came back to bite them. It came back now from Yusef Mart now to Saleh. So that's a clear goal. Nothing wrong there. People who are saying, hey, 12, 12, 12, they must just zip. <laughs> the law is here <laughs> to protect the goal. Good goal. All right. So well, let's put another one here. Uh, let's go straight to it. This now is in the 89th minute. Here, the, Jelly Chaban is chasing the doctor. Uh, the doctor is a highly respected person in society. But look at how we treat the doctor. You, you just give him a yellow card. Uh, and, and the doctor was misbehaving here because he enters the field of play without the permission from the referee. So now, this is for, for, for the second time uh, with which a red card should have been issued. But then there's a law that says if a doctor is given a red card, not our own doctor, if a doctor is given yeah, a red man. card, yeah. then, and there's no other person to treat the players, <laughs> then this person, must, the doctor must stay in three players, then he will stay the next two games. So here, uh, the doctor was misbehaving. But you can't give the doctor a red card, right? He can't be given a red and card. And get him off the I field. give the doctor a red card. And then get him off the field. Yes. And what happens when there's an injury? There was another one. There was a fissure there. But now FIFA is not changed. a doctor. FIFA changed. You know, my, I'm, I'm proud to be one of the people who made the law to be changed. After I gave the doctor a, a red card, FIFA then came back and said, if there's no other doctor to treat the players, that doctor must stay and treat the players, and then you can only serve the suspension. Or the okay. <laughs> Last one, yeah. Last one, but we stay with Kaza Chiefs. Yeah. This time around was when they played Golden Arrows in the week. 
Yeah, there is this offsite here, situation that we want to talk about. Yes, given there, giving offsite. But let's look at the law. The law says uh, if you are in front, nearer to your uh, opponent's goal line, then you are offside. And if you are behind or in line with the ball, you cannot be offside. Let's look at it here, uh, Doc, and see. Is mm. that player behind the ball or in line? This player is clearly behind the ball. So this goal should have been allowed. But the assistant referee, fortunately or unfortunately, raised the I choose to in Atlanta this week. <laughs> So, this goal here, yeah, Arrows, Mabuti Kanyeza, maybe it will have saved him the job, we don't know. No, but, he's still uh, there. He's still there. <laughs> he's still there. He's still so, but there. that was supposed yeah. to be ruled as, so as, 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 as a beautiful goal. Yeah, he achieves the 23 points as, as, as moving. And then. <laughs> <laughs> we go to the break. And then. Ah, yeah. Oksala. Oksala.